Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of locating and comparing numbers on a number line. This is standard 6.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got four points on this number line K, L, M, and N, and we simply need to find the one that best represents one third. So what we have here is we've got 0 to 0.5, and I don't think that we can just uh, count by tenths. If we were to count by one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, we'd be done. It looks about halfway, so I bet you I can count by uh, five hundredths, right? So I can probably say that this is one-tenth, and this is two-tenths, this is three-tenths, and this is four-tenths. So these in-betweens would be uh, five-hundredths, fifteen-hundredths. If we want, we can go ahead and make that a ten and a twenty, make that read a little bit easier. There's my twenty-five, there's my thirty, thirty-five, forty, all right, so we've labeled our number line. That's step one. So we at least have an idea of where some of these are. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these numbers here. These K, L, M, and N. Just take kind of a guess. So this, this is point 0.15 and this is point 0.10. And that's between the two. So I'm going to guess that K is about, oh, call it 0 0.13, 13 hundredths. Just a guess. We're just getting a rough estimate. This L right here is between 0 0.15 and 0 0.20. Looks to be slightly closer to the 20, so I'm going to call it 0 0.18. And what about this point M? Point M is between 0.3 and 0.35, uh, kind of closer to the 0.35, so I'm going to call it 0.3, 3 maybe, 0.33, and then N is going to be between 0.4 and 0.45, looks like it's closer to 0.4, so I'm going to call that 0.42. Now, this is a benchmark fraction. So this is one you should have memorized. But if for some strange reason you are not sure how to, um, what that represents, and you're, you can't remember exactly how to change that, let me show you real quick. So whenever you are changing a, any fraction to a uh, decimal, which is what we're looking at here, you're always going to divide up. So you're going to take your 3 and 1, you're going to take your denominator and divide it up into your numerator. So you kind of flip it over to its sign so it looks like this. So your denominator divides up, your denominator is your divisor, your numerator is your dividend. Always think of a fraction as kind of an unfinished division problem. That will help. So 3 goes into 1 0 times. That didn't do us a whole bunch of good, but we can now add a decimal. We can always add a decimal, we can always add a 0. And then we can keep going here. So 3 goes into 10 three times. That's going to get us really close. Uh, we don't want remainders. We don't do remainders. So we're just going to bring it down. Let's do add another 0. Let's do it again. 3 goes into 10 three times. That's 9. And then hopefully at this point you are noticing a pattern. I could add another 0, but guess what? It's going to be 10. So really what this is, if I were just to continue this, this would be 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and it goes on and on, and quite honestly, it never actually ends. So the answer is the most technically correct way to write that would be 0 0.3 with that little line. That little repeating bar means that 3 goes on forever. And as you can see, that is closest to what I thought M was, and so my answer is going to be H point M.